Hi, this is Kareen. I want to talk to you about dowsing. I love dowsing tools. I create a lot of dowsing tools, usually with stones, pearls, occasionally glass beads. This one here is a, a black onyx, and then there's a snowflake obsidian, and then there's um, one other stone. Sorry, my mind went blank. But I want to show you, when you start dowsing, you have to program your dowsing tool. You have to teach it this is yes, just like you would shake your head if you were talking to someone and answering yes. I like to stop it, and then, you know, some people hold it like this, and they just wait for it to go to a yes. It's going to. Look how long it takes. That's a pretty nice yes. But me, I like to tell my guides, my angels, this is yes. When I get a yes answer, I don't want to wonder, is that a yes or a no? I simply want it to show me yes. You can stop it at any time and start again. I like to leave it like this. I like to have my hand on a tabletop. I'm starting it and I'm saying yes. Hi self, I want guides, angels. This is when you answer a question for me, this is yes. I watch many people that I teach and sometimes it goes like this. When it moves like that, I have no idea what it means. You get to decide how this is gonna work. So you just sit with your pendulum. I like to wash it first, I like to dry it, and I like to keep it in the palm of my hand. I like to put my energy into the tool that I'm going to use. Before I ever start dowsing, I'm gonna make sure my high self, my guides, my angels understand that yes is back and forth, back and forth. When I get that programmed and I feel satisfied that my guides and angels are working with me, then I'm gonna start the no. I'm gonna say this is no, and then I'll stop it. I'll start it again, I'll say this is no. Now lots of times I watch people in my class, they'll go like this, and it is stay and it is stay. I've been dowsing, you know, since 2000, so mine's gonna go no just because I asked it to. But if, if it doesn't give you an answer, really program your, your spirit guides, your angels, that this is no. Stop it, this is yes. Stop it, this is no. And then what I'd like you to do is ask a simple question. I'm gonna ask my guides, is this a phone? Is this a phone? When I ask, is this a phone, I turn it just one time, I'm gonna exaggerate clockwise. And then I'm gonna let it just go where it needs to until it stops. Of course, you see it says yes. I want you to practice with things that you know is truly or yes or no. I created this piece of art, so I'm gonna ask my guides, did I create this piece of art? As I asked the question, I just spun it. I'm gonna exaggerate. I did it clockwise one time, and now I'm gonna wait for a yes or no answer. Did I create this piece of art, yes or no? And you see, my guides are going to say yes, okay? I can ask a question. So I want you to practice with things you know an answer is. So this is a beautiful computer bag that I purchased, and I'm gonna ask, my high self committee, is this my phone bag, yes or no? And look, it tells me no, because it's not my phone bag. This is actually my computer bag. So I'm gonna ask Spirit, is this my computer bag? Yes, okay. Ask questions that you have specific answers for. Here is my business card. I'm gonna ask Source. Is this Kareen's business card, yes or no? We get a yes. Now I'm gonna ask, is this a sewing pin? Is this a sewing pin used in sewing, yes or no? Going to get a yes. Let's say you ask questions and you, you maybe you ask your name, I'm gonna ask, is my name Kareen Martin, yes or no? And let's say I get a no, but you know 100% what your name is. So if you get an answer that is incorrect, what I want you to do is spin your pendulum clockwise and say, clear all blocks, all interferences. 
I ask that the divine white light be in me, through me, with me. Clear all dark energies and entities. Spiritual kick, spiritual kick, spiritual kick. And let it finish till you get a yes. Meaning you're clear and you're ready. There's my yes. Then I'm going to ask, is this, is this a ballpoint pen? And look, it says no. It is a pen, but it's not a ballpoint pen. So that's how you'll practice every day. What I'd like you to do is get in the habit of washing your dowsing tool once a week. You simply, you can use soap and water. Wash it under cold water, hot water, whatever you like. But just let the water, water is emotions, cleansing emotions, and ask as you wash it that any energies that no longer serve for your highest good be released and cleared. Then you'll take a beautiful towel and you'll dry it. And when you're watching TV, when you're in bed, whatever you like to do, I like you to keep your pendulum with you. Let it really get used to your energy. And then every day I want you to work with it until you get really good. Program yes, stop it, program no. I know you'll watch a lot of videos and they say hold it. So you can ask for a yes. Or you can simply just spin it one time clockwise and say, please show me a yes. Thank you. Stop it. You can do like this, show me a no. You see how long that takes to get going? That's a very nice no. But stop it. Ask As you ask your question, spin it one time. Please show me a no, high self. Show me a no. Clear all blocks, all interferences. Thank you. Please, please show me a no. There's my no. Once you get a no, you don't have to keep letting it go tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's a no. There's your answer. So practice with maybe 10 items a day that you know. Whether, is this my ring? Is this my ring? Is this color green? And if you ask if your nail polish is an opposite color of what you have and you get the correct answer, trust that you're starting to really download information from source and spirit to enhance the quality of your dowsing. So this would just be dowsing number one. If you don't have a gorgeous dowsing tool, it makes no difference. Simply get a thread, put a ring on it, and just practice yes. Stop, practice, no. Make sure your state of mind is open, that you're feeling of a higher vibration. If you're feeling sad and depressed and down, it's probably not the best thing, but at least hold on to your dowsing tool because maybe the stones that you have have some healing qualities. If you want to know what your healing qualities are for any stone, just simply look them up on the internet and you might be surprised that the stone you have or the stones that you purchase or the stones you have in your your space may actually be raising your vibration and creating healing. So again, this is just dowsing 101 with Kareen. Thank you.